Our next step is to make our bots fire at the player. Now, we're going to be handling this in a loop, a loop that will constantly keep checking to see if all of our bots, any of our bots actually, can see the player. As soon as they can see the player, they'll open fire. If they can't see the player anymore, if they get obstructed by a wall or something, they're going to stop firing. So let's jump into Kismet. And here we are at the end of our Activate Remote event for the Create Boss. And I'm going to start off by creating New Condition, Counter, Int Counter. This counter will be used to step through each of the entries in our bot's list to set their behavior. Basically tell them, hey, look for the player. Do you see him? If so, shoot. If not, stop firing. Now, we have values A and B. A is always going to be compared to B after we increment, and then we can establish some behavior after that. So let's set up A and B first. B is easy. That's going to correspond to the number of bots we currently have in our scene, and we have a variable for that. So let's right-click, create a new variable, and not an external variable. We actually want a named variable. We're going to call this one total bots, which is already set up over in our global variables. We're going to plug this into B. Now into A, we're going to create a brand new integer variable and give it a default value of negative one. The reason we use negative one is that the very first time we call on our int counter, it's going to increment, which will take the negative one and set it to zero. Zero is the first entry in our bots list. It's a zero based list. Now let's take the output of our create boss and we'll fire this into our counter. All right, so what do we want to have happen the very first time this fires? Well, we need to talk to somebody in our object list, one of our bots. So let's create a new object list, access object list. We're going to take while A is less than B, meaning we haven't yet reached our total number of bots, and plug that into at index. Now we need to specify exactly which index we're talking to, and that's easy. We're just going to plug this into whatever our counter happens to be. We also need to tell this node the name of the list we're using, which is the bots list. So let's create a new named variable. Set its find var name to bots, which is the name of our list, and we'll plug that into the object list like so. Now I'm going to output the bot that was just accessed into its own object variable. So let's right click on output object, choose new object variable, and there we go. So each time we access a bot, they're going to be output into this variable. Our next step is going to be to run a trace. Basically tell the engine, I want you to run a line, basically draw a line from the bot to the player. And if there's nothing blocking that line, then the bot can see the player and needs to go ahead and open fire. So we're going to right click, go to new action, miscellaneous, and grab a trace. And we'll take the output of our access object list, plug that to the end of the trace. The trace will start at the location of the bot. It will end at the location of the player. So let's right click, create a new variable, come down to player, choose player, and then immediately switch off all players. We don't want to check through all players, we just want to check through our main player. Now it's pretty easy. We just have two outcomes. Either we are obstructed or we are not obstructed. If we're not obstructed, we need to shoot. So let's right click, go to new action, choose AI, and we have start firing at. And let's go ahead and just come down here and we'll go new action, AI, and choose stop firing. So these will be our two results. We'll go ahead and plug not obstructed into start firing at and obstructed into stop firing. Now, Who's going to be doing the firing? Well, that would be this object variable here, the bot that we're actually communicating with. So we'll just plug that in like so. And what will we be firing at? Literally the player. So let's just grab this variable and we can just copy paste it. So we don't have too many tangled up wires. Then next we have stop firing if there is an obstruction. And we'll just take that and run the target over here to the bot we happen to be currently talking to. Now that gives us all of our behavior, but we need to loop this back around as soon as it's finished so that we can start the loop all over again. Either we're firing or we're not. Either way, we need to run this around in a loop to calculate again to check and see if we should continue firing or if we should stop. So what I'm going to do is take the output of our start and stop firings and add an activate delay. This is absolutely crucial. And if you don't do this, you can run into a very, very fast loop, which will cause severe instability. 
So at least set a 0.25 delay. We'll wrap that around and plug that to the input. And we'll do the same for start firing. So either way, we're going to begin the loop again. However, at this point, there's a problem. At some point, this counter is going to exceed the number of total bots. What are we going to do when that happens? Well, we need to set our count variable back to negative 1. So let's right click, go to new action, set variable, and choose an int. We're going to plug this into a is greater than or equal to b. Our target is going to be this variable that has been counting this whole time. And the value we're going to set it to, we'll just create a new int variable for it and set this to negative 1. So as soon as this variable climbs over the total number of bots, we'll reset it to negative 1. Now all we have to do is wrap this back around so it'll start counting again. However, just like over here, it's a good idea for us to set a delay. So here at the end of your set integer variable, let's go ahead and right click, set an active delay of 0.25. And there we go. We have some firing behavior. Let's go ahead and comment this. So we'll grab the whole thing, hit C, and we'll say bot firing behavior. And let's test this out. So we'll jump right into the map. And let's go ahead and click our box to get that out of the way. And let's run around the corner. <coughs> and get hurt a couple of times. Now, can anybody see us yet? Oh, he sees us. We move out of the way. He stops firing. Look, shoot me. Up, and then he stops. So our behavior is working great. The only thing we have left to put in now is the patrol system that will get the bots to run back and forth. And we're going to take care of that in the next video. So go ahead and save your level, and then we will continue. <laughs>